Here are the official specs you need to know about the Cybertruck. There are three storage compartments. Not only do you have access to the front, but there also is one accessible in the rear hatch and in the back row seats. The seats also fold up, unveiling additional storage. In addition to that, there are a total of three home size outlets across the Cybertruck, just like an F-150 or there is household outlets located in the bed and on this display inside a cabinet, as well as one located in the frunk just like the f-150 lightning actually so those are just quite a few of handful of specs so we're going to go ahead and talk about now when it comes to drivetrains there are three drive terrains options and this is all listed on tesla's website and just to quickly run through it by tapping on the full purchasing price the entry-level cyber truck with the standard wheel wheel drive will become available in 2025 and has a range an estimate range of 250 miles with this acceleration time of 0 60 in in 6.5 seconds then the all-wheel drive model this is what i think is going to be the most popular option starts at 79,000, has a range of 340 miles with a 0 60 time of 4.1 which is impressive with a max top speed of 112 miles per hour it will have 600 horsepower and 7,435 pound feet of torque with a towing capacity of 11,000 pounds which is quite standard for gasoline pickup trucks and then if you go to the maximum version the, the tri motor option sells just under a hundred thousand dollars and it's nicknamed the cyber beast delivery will begin sometime next year earlier next year hopefully with a range of 320 miles a 0 60 time of 2.6 with a top speed of 130 miles horsepower is 845 horsepower and 10,029 pound-feet of torque. If you think that's a large number for torque, it is. But you gotta take in consideration that the Hummer EV has 11,000. So the Hummer EV is still slightly more powerful, but will still carry the same tow towing capacity that this pickup can. Now payload in the bed is rated to be able to go at least up to 2,500 pounds. Now, even though Tesla did show that the Cybertruck well, the Cyber Beast version can achieve a 0 60 time of 2.5 while towing a Porsche. The things you need to keep in mind is only quick at a straightaway. After all, this is an EV, it means everything is basically software control. In other words, a Ford Raptor R, as a fine example, had the top speed of 112 miles, but you could easily degov this so you can allow it to actually achieve a higher top speed. If you like to do this on the Cybertruck, it will be extremely difficult to actually do so because you're dealing with Tesla software which basically is used to run the entire vehicle. So in other words, more complicated. So yes, even though the Porsche did lose to a 0 60 time, top speed, sure, the Porsche and other vehicles could easily smoke it. But I continue to refuse to use the Nurburgring Nürbur ring argument because this is street use. I hardly doubt anybody from the state actually goes to the Nurburgring. ring. Now, another interesting thing I like to highlight is the battery because the range is odd because in the performance section for the all wheel drive model, it states that 470 miles of range is achievable with the range extender. And what this is, is basically an add on accessory you could purchase that will take up space in your bed. Yes, but it will give you that close to 500 mile range. And this is how it looks like. This definitely seems like it's something you're going to have to take into Tesla to have this accessory attached because let's be real, batteries are not light. So you'll definitely need some type of forklift or something to install this. But now since we're touching the topic of accessories, here's some footage of the tent setup for the cyber tent. It does feature a nice queen size bed. It looks like that goes above the bed, giving you additional storage on the bottom and has two opening for sunlight as well with some type of window like material. Something tells me it's plastic, but this looks honestly really cool and it's pretty big. The price is still left unknown. Additional accessories can be found on the Baja Cybertruck as there is a light bar you'll be able to soon equip. Lumit Specs is still left unknown, but something tells me Baja Design or other famous third-party Baja running lights, like Ridge, shouldn't have any issues making third-party accessories for the Cybertruck. In addition to that, we finally got to see a picture of how the Cyber Wheel covers look like when they're removed. Just big holes. Definitely a lot different than what we've seen in the past with the Model 3 and the Model Y, as well as the Model S. But those big bulky covers that we are used to seeing on the Cybertruck look like this design is here to stay and will be available on the latest Cybertrucks. In terms of that matte black Cybertruck, this is all due to the fact that Tesla recently started doing their PPF or vinyl wraps out of the shop and installed right away as this billboard right here is telling us what it is and this is how you could accomplish a matte black Cybertruck. 
but something tells me you might be better off doing the wrap yourself because it's just stainless steel on the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck. So it should be easy to install vinyl wrap on your own as there's no curves or edges that you should really be concerned about, nor any need to like remove any like body parts off the truck like bumper and stuff as it's literally exposed stainless steel. Now the stainless steel alloy, let's talk about that. This stuff is really tough as it's not only strong enough to stop a 9mm round but Joe Rogan actually confirmed using armor piercing arrows that even that can't easily break through. And in terms of the window glass tests, this is built with Tesla's durable glass which has some benefits. One benefit is prevents people like from the Bay Area from stealing your luggage inside your car and also prevents you from easily getting rock ships on the freeway as quote unquote Elon said it's rock proof. And then being thicker glass than normal allows the interior to be quieter than ever. Another claim that Elon has made. In terms of the rear glass, unfortunately it's fixed. It doesn't look like it slides down at all as it's also totally blocked in the uh, cyber tent. Now this is our first hands-on look of the infotainment screen in the cyber truck and there's a lot of features but the most notable features that got added is the capability to remove the Tesla logo on boot up and in the different modes that it has if you're inside the cyber beast there is a new beast mode so previously we had ludicrous insane mode plaid mode and for the cyber beast you have beast mode in terms of charging specs this is using the new 48 volt architecture this is using the 800 volt architecture so it should be able to charge at 250 kilowatts more consistent than ever before but this requires more realized testing to really confirm the new improved speeds. Now the back screen also received a little enhance in terms of the display that was available back here as it's larger than the Model S and the Model X's display. But in terms of control, everything seems to be the exact same. And then the charge port on the Cybertruck has a little Cybertruck Easter egg right here located in the rear fender. And to easily identify if a Cybertruck is a Cyber Beast, look for this little emblem back here very similar to what plaid did tesla did with the plaid models cyber beast will have these three dogs back here wolves or whatever type of beasts these are which looks like cerberus now interesting improvements that tesla has made can be located in the battery pack as now the onboard charger is actually located right on top of it making it easier to repair in the near future no longer ha you have to like take the whole unit apart like rich rebuild had to do multiple times on his youtube channel now it looks like they separated the two so it's easier to replace certain bits it looks like now allegedly mkhd does have more detail coming out in the near future so i'll have his reference video in the description down below but one thing for sure he may actually skip but i'm not is the quarter panels gaps looks to be still here so keeping a tesla tradition looks like we still are going to receive corner panel issues now the bedside on the pickup truck is a six footer slightly bigger than what most trucks typically use they usually use a 5.5 so it's pretty impressive they're able to fit a six foot and in terms of ground clearance this actually has 17 inches of ground clearance which is a lot more than my ford raptor which is shocking as it averaged around 13 at peak now with this crazy amount of torch, I personally wish they had the Hummer EV in this uh, drag test. It clearly shows that the Cybertruck can easily out-tow in a towing drag-off than most modern day EVs as well as gas powered vehicles. And similar to like the Ford Lightning, power sharing is enabled on the Cybertruck, which allows you to not only charge other vehicles, but also keep your household powered throughout a power outage, making the power wall from Tesla a bit of a uh, necessity to power your home during an outage. Now in terms of promises, unfortunately there's no mention of the removal of the side view ca rear view cameras or side view mirrors to be swapped with cameras. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. So I don't know what happened here, but that promise is, doesn't look like it's coming. It look like the side view mirrors are gonna be standard and the accessory for them to be swapped with cameras doesn't look like it's coming. And we were previously promised a much more lower price tag as the Trimortar version, aka the Cyber Beast, was originally going to start at a slightly less lower price with higher towing capacity as well as a higher payload capacity as well. Here are the numbers side by side so you can see for yourself. 
But nonetheless, I'm happy that the Cybertruck finally is becoming available for consumers. And this is definitely one of those trippy vehicles that we're gonna have to get used to seeing every day on the roads. Now, if you would ask me if I'm personally getting one, I am. I've reserved it ever since day one, so hopefully I'm gonna be one of the few people who actually gets my hands on it. But will I keep it in the long term? I'm not sure. I had a terrible experience with a Model S after being a first adopter, so there's a lot of bugs, issues. I'm just probably gonna sell it and wait until they fix all those issues with the improved version of the Cybertruck, which could take less than two years. So that's everything there is to know about important specs on the brand new Cybertruck. Let me know in the comment section what do you also think about this pickup truck finally becoming available. But I do have to give Tesla props. They did keep some of the important features like the automatic roll up tunnel cover and that unique light bar. If you plan on reserving yours, I'll be sure to include my referral code in the description down below. This way you can save some money. As all I'd like to do is just look up a lot of information and just share it with the world. So you guys hopefully enjoyed watching. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.